Hey everyone! Today we're going to take a look at how to use direct and reflective light. So first of all, we're going to go outdoors and we're going to concentrate on direct sunlight. So remember guys, use rule of thirds and think of your composition elements. Don't forget, get in close. You're going to be looking for those deep dark shadows for your direct sunlight. Look for those bright highlights and those dark shadows. Be creative, guys. Look for lines and light. Next, let's look at reflective sunlight. Look for open shade. Look for your subjects next to walls or reflective surfaces. Remember, guys, reflective light is going to be creating those softer shadows, and that's what you're looking for. Really nice detail in the shadows. You'll find that when you're outdoors, there's going to be some different options for reflective light. And as you can see, for me today, uh, I had overcast skies. So again, I was going in and out of sunlight and overcast sky. And it gave me some really nice, soft, reflective light on my car and my subject. Watch out for those combination photo ops where you have both direct shadow and reflective light filling in your shadows. So I'm going to switch scenes to get something different and I'm going to go to my backyard and see what we can find in the back. You're going to see I have a couple of scenes I'm going to photograph today for that reflective light in my backyard. This first scene you can see my one long shot and you can see how I went in and I started capturing those close-ups with those nice soft reflective shadows in my subjects. Again, a whole new world opens up to you when you start getting real tight and close. And here you can see we have a combination of some really nice hard direct shadow and some nice reflective diffuse light on my textured wall. Again, this is another exercise on composition elements but we're looking and focusing on light, mainly reflective light. Watch for the color, the lines, the shapes. The beauty and simplicity. Symmetry and style. And you can only do that when you edit in Lightroom, guys. So don't forget, finish off in Lightroom. Again, play around, have fun, guys. After we finish outdoors, let's do the same thing indoors. <laughs> 